All right, guys, so in this lesson, I'm gonna be teaching you how to use a tactical flashlight. Now, what I like about this one, this one's from Atomic Bear, it's a mini tactical flashlight. Unlike the big ones that you're not actually gonna go out with or walk around with, this one actually fits right into your pocket, right? And there's even a little clip here. So, um, again, you could, you could use it. One, there's actually, I'm gonna light it up here. There's actually a, a, a good amount of light that you can get. You can conceal it in your pocket as well as you can get through security if you're going out with it, right? Um, now there's the edge parts over here as well as it could be used as a weapon. It could be used again to flash into the eyes, but as well be used to tighten up your, your, your to, to make a, a punch and use this part to strike right over here, right? So you see all these edges over here, I can use to actually hit. Um, so if I'm faced with my attacker and I'm just talking to him and I could find a way to pull it out, here, I'm gonna use it the same way in a hammer fist motion where I'm gonna strike into the face with it. Now, you feel this, Anthony? Yeah. Right, so it's not very comfortable. I could still strike with it, but as I'm striking with it, I'm also using the edge to hammer strike into the face. If he clinches with me and I'm here, I'm gonna use it, oh. you feel that, right? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna use it as a pressure point without getting very technical. Whatever I get, I get, whether it's the shoulder, the back of the neck, and if I go into the face, I'm gonna use it to scrape into the face. Now again, I could also use it to do this. So, I mean, it's not as powerful as a big tactical flashlight, but what was your instinct when you did yeah. this was to at least flinch. So if I'm here and I do this and I create a flinch response, I'm gonna light it up, and as I'm using it into the eyes, I'm gonna strike at the same time. I can punch, I can strike, I'll kick, I'll use it as a hammer fist, and again, right into the eyes. Again, if you're looking at it, you know, if being going out in a nightclub, again, you know, this light could actually make a big difference, especially right now the lights are closed. Right, I'm just gonna use it again to create a flinch response, to keep the person back. But as I'm using it in here, I'm also striking with it. So it can be used again to blind. See, when I go full it's into bright. the- It's bright, Yeah, it's enough for him to get this reaction and for me to create a flinch response to either hit high, to punch, to hammer fist, to kick low, and again, to go into the eyes. So what's really good, it could be used for many ways. And again, once you're going outside the club, and I remember working in the working in the clubs and having to walk to my car, I used to park my car in the same spot, make sure there's always lights where I can see everybody, because again, I would get threatened sometimes that if I see you, we're gonna jump you and all this shit, so you don't wanna take any chances. But if you're, if you're going out in bars and clubs, and then you're walking to your car, well, it's good for you if you're walking through a lane, or you're walking through a dark alley, or a place that doesn't have a lot of light, well, why not be able to see what's happening around you? So again, like I said, this is just an extension of your hand. It's just a tool. Don't get emotionally attached to it. But i rather have it than not have it. I'd rather be able to have something in my hands that I might be able to use that will give me some edge over my attacker. And again, it might buy me a few seconds to create a flinch response by going into the eyes. It might create a, a split second for me to be able to strike with this edge into the face. And again, help me make a solid fist and be able to use it for more than one, for one, for one type of attack or defense. I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.